We do a lot of sketches of the shape of the body, but we have to make sure that it's going to fit over the mechanical parts. And once we settle on a design that everybody likes, we start uh, what the car companies also do is a clay, full-size clay model. And so we put um, foam right onto the chassis of the motorcycle. And you can see that here in this image. And as soon as we get the foam roughed in, we can do ergonomic tests. We can put riders on the bike and check for uh, the comfort and uh, body position for the riding the bike. Because I'm an instructor at the Academy of the Art, and uh, I know who the best students are to do this kind of work. And so I bring them into my office in Palo Alto, and we did the full-size clay model. And at the bottom of this board, you can see uh, from the clay model, we take fiberglass molds. And uh, from those fiberglass molds, we make the first production parts. And we've also digitized this design, so eventually when the production ramps up, we'll be using the digital model to create tooling, uh, hard metal tooling to make the molded parts. So what was the biggest challenge to make the elect, I mean, for, for the design, what would you say is the biggest, was the biggest challenge for you? That's a very easy question to answer. <laughs> the biggest challenge is designing a bike around a huge block of batteries and still make the bike look good and still make it easy to ride the bike because a motorcycle rider has to spread their legs around the batteries. And so that was a huge compromise that we worked many, many hours trying to balance the rider comfort and the battery pack size and the style. And the easiest part? The easiest part? Yeah, well, we're passionate about motorcycles. <laughs>